Hey guys, how you doing? And welcome to another episode of Arnold Space Station. In today's episode, we're gonna have a look at two things. So, uh, the first thing we're gonna go ahead and have a look at is uh, how as a lead aggregator or a marketing business, you can use Salesforce to very simply uh, compartmentalize or categorize the information that comes in. And as a result, that leads us to part two, where once that has been categorized, you can then go ahead and shoot that out automatically uh, to a partner or to a customer as part of whatever campaign you're running. So this way you get the data and the metrics into your system first uh, as the source of truth and then you can then go ahead and send that off to the customer and provide a weekly report. Conventionally this sort of stuff was done through emails where you know um, still if you go ahead and fill out a form somewhere you're interested in something uh, most systems will still offer that uh, as a service where they'll shoot you an email with all the details in there. Now that can be cumbersome because you have to then manually type that information in. You can certainly use something like uh, Zapier or Zapier uh, to be able to automate that and punch it into fields uh, inside Google Sheets or uh, Microsoft Online Excel. But that's still old school because that still does not get you the data in the format that you're using it uh, or that a customer needs it in. So. We're gonna go ahead and have a look at how we can do part one, which is get that information into the system and then compartmentalize it. Great, so as part of this demo, we are going to use the lead object. And what we're gonna do is we're going to send an outbound message uh, just to Zapier as part of this. Uh, every time the lead status is updated uh, on any of the leads to closed lost, so in this case, if we had a look at the lead statuses, it's closed, not converted. That means the person wasn't interested. We're gonna go ahead and shoot out an outbound message. This outbound message, uh, again, can be to any other system, perhaps your lead provider. Uh, in this case, uh, I've gone ahead and set up a Zapier account, and I've just created a Zap um, that just catches the webhook, so you guys can see. Uh, and this is the webhook URL that we will be using as well. So, once you're in Salesforce, in order to send outbound messages, we need to go ahead and create one. And if you go to the setup of the cogwheel and enter setup, you'll find outbound messages in quick find if you just type in outbound. And underneath workflow actions, there are outbound messages. So we're gonna go ahead and create our first outbound message. As you can see, there are none. And once we choose to create one, it's gonna ask us which object this outbound message uh, needs to be sent from. So remember, an outbound message is essentially uh, a collection of data that you're sending from Salesforce to somewhere else. Uh, and as part of that collection of data, you can send through all the available fields. Now, one of the things that you will not be able to remove is this ID field um, because Salesforce needs that, so um, you won't be able to remove it. Now, I'm gonna call this particular name closed, not converted. Send. In the description, I'm gonna go ahead and put in send leads, not converted back to lead gen team. In this case, I'm actually gonna change that to lead gen provider. Uh, again, you could go ahead and send this to a spreadsheet as well using something like Zapier. Uh, but in this case, I'm just going to send it to Zapier and then it's up to you using some of the Zapier tools as to what you actually wanna do with it. So the next field that it asks for is the endpoint URL. Now this is where we need to go and copy this endpoint URL. Any system that allows for webhooks uh, can go ahead and pick up this information. Um, and all you'll need is a endpoint, uh, which in this case is supplied by Zapier. But if you're using another system, you'll need to go ahead and find out where you can find that endpoint. 
Remember, this is not to create some massive data integration, it's just to send a short burst uh, of, of some fields or some data back uh, or to somewhere else. So as part of this, we're gonna go ahead and select the company in terms of the fields we wanna send through. We are going to send the email, really important as part of lead gen. We're then also going to send the first name and the last name alongside the phone number. Again, you can select uh, a variety of available fields uh, and all of these fields um, that are here, in some cases, some are hidden as well. So once we've identified and selected all the fields that we wanna send through, we can then go ahead and select save. Now, all we've done here is we've just created the message that goes out. What we now need to do is we need to create the mechanism or the criteria that then looks at this and says, great, as part of this, when this happens in the system, we're gonna go ahead and shoot this message out. So in order for us to do that, I'm going to go to workflows inside Salesforce. Now we're looking at workflow rules in this particular instance. What we need to do now is create a brand new rule and this will give the system a criteria once it's met to shoot out the content. So I'm gonna click on new rule and I'm gonna select the lead object in here as well. Once I've selected the lead object, uh, I'm then going to give this rule a name. Closed, not converted, back to provider. Again, you can give it a description as well. I'm gonna copy the rule name in the description and I'm going to add lead gen in here. Now underneath the evaluation criteria, I wanna go ahead and select uh, created and anytime it's edited or subsequently met criteria um, as part of this. I'm actually gonna change that to created and every time it's edited. So as part of it saying that there's no time dependent workflow that we can add, but that's fine. We want it to happen instantaneously. So the field that we're gonna look for is lead lead status. And I'm gonna go ahead and say it equals, and because it's a status, it's a pick list value, it will allow me to look up values that exist in that pick list. And I'm going to select closed, not converted. Beautiful. I can go ahead and add some more uh, fields, uh, in essence, some more criteria. And if required, I can add some filter logic as well. But in this case, I wanna keep it pretty simple. All I'm after is when the lead status is updated, just shoot off that message. I'm gonna click save and next. Now in here, it's gonna go ahead and ask me um, what sort of action. So I've already gone ahead and created that outbound message. So I'm going to select an existing action. And under the search uh, or the action type, I'm going to select outbound messages and add that. Beautiful. So now that we're, we've gone ahead and added the outbound message uh, to trigger, as soon as it's met that criteria, I'm gonna click done. And I'm gonna go ahead and activate this workflow rule. Beautiful. Now that we've got this workflow rule, what we need to do is go ahead and test it. So I'm gonna go back to the front end and I'm going to select uh, a few different records this time. I'm going to update all of them to closed and not converted. And click save. Beautiful. Now that I've gone ahead and updated these records, I need a way to verify it. So let's go back to Zapier. And now that Zapier um, is open, I'm going to click the continue button. And in this case, I am going to test and review. So what this is gonna allow me to do is uh, get any information that has been sent through. Beautiful, so as you can see, I can in fact see some information in here. Now all of these are being sent through as one massive string. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to revert back 
and I'm just going to select Kathy Schneider and I'm going to update her individually. Beautiful. I'm going to go back to Zapier. I'm going to try and get some more. Um, I'm going to try and get some more records. So in here, I'm going to click on uh, load more. And we've got another webhook that's been sent through. So as we scroll down, you'll notice that these are all the fields and the information. Uh, I can confirm the first name, Kathy, last name Schneider is there. I'll also confirm the email, kschneider at tnr.net and the company name, TNR Corp. Come in here, TNR Corp, kschneider at tnr.net. Great, so now that I've gotten Zapier, again, I can go ahead and do whatever I like with this. Uh, I can come in here and connect, um, you know, Google Sheets as an example, if I want a list of those to be able to send back to the provider or if the provider uses um, Salesforce, I can go ahead and use their web to lead to send it back to them um, or perhaps uh, any other webhook. Oh, this has been uh, enjoyable and I hope you have learned something from this today. Hey guys, please don't forget to like, comment or subscribe to the channel if you like it. Uh, also, please don't forget to go ahead and share this with uh, anyone that you think might benefit from it, especially all those brand new up and coming Salesforce gurus. And as always, you can find some more episodes right here.